Good morning. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. We're gonna make pan roasted honey lime chicken thighs. So we'll start with a marinade and then we're gonna let that sit. And on busy days like today, I like to prepare in the morning. So I get my day going. I've done my workout already this morning. I'm showered. So now I'm back in my kitchen. I'll I'll get the marinade together, but then that way it can rest and sit there until I'm ready to start dinner tonight. I'm going to, I like to use when I make my marinades, I like to use my gallon Ziploc bags. That way I can put whatever I'm choosing to marinate, add all of my sauce to the same bag, swish that around, stick that in my fridge, and it's a no nonsense cleanup. Get that into your pan and toss it away and you're ready for action. And then we have to um, sear our chicken thighs and then they'll go into the oven and bake for a while. So I'm gonna use my cast iron frying pan. It's an oldie but a goodie. Good and seasoned and works like a charm on days when I have to do searing and baking. So meet me back here. I'm gonna go grab all the stuff we need to start our marinade. And then I'm gonna take you around and show you a couple things that I'm working on. Okay, so our ingredients for our marinade. Chicken, so this is a pound is good, a little over a pound, no big deal. So depending on family size, buy the chicken you need, the amount you need, and then add accordingly. I think we've all made marinades. If you have much more chicken than a pound, add a little bit extra to each of the ingredients as we go along to build our marinade. So it's soy sauce, three tablespoons. It's a quarter cup of honey. It is two cloves of garlic. So if you are using regular garlic, the fresh stuff, which is awesome. I just don't seem to have any in my house right now. So I am using handy dandy minced. So it's about two teaspoons of garlic. If you like a little garlicier, add a little extra. And then fresh lime, a quarter cup of fresh lime, which is approximately two nice sized limes, but you might need an extra just in case. Fresh preferably, but again, if you have the, if you have the bottled lime juice, Add, add what you got. This is a user-friendly meal that your family will love. So let's start building. Get our lives going. Let's see what really, how much really we get out of this. I did not love these beauties. They are just so good. They're so good. Limes are just, I personally like limes a lot. So I think they smell good. I think they look good. Oh my gosh, this summer I started a lime tree. Oh, that is, I bet my other one is going to get us to a quarter of a cup for sure. But I started my lime tree outside and it's my second one I've ever had in my whole entire life. And this one was a real runt when I bought it. Clearance looked so lonely. I was like, you have got to come home. I have got to take you home. And he's doing pretty good. I'm not sure what'll happen. I'm gonna try to bring him in. That's usually where I lose my guys a lot of times. Oh yeah, it's that was almost a quarter cup exactly with one and a half, but we're going straight up for the two nice limes. Oh man, how exciting and it smells super good. Yep, all right. What I'm gonna do is finish putting everything in here and then dump it on the marinade.
great consistency. Really nice. Oh, honey. Honey is going to make it just so, so yummy. All right. That's it. That is what the, that's what the marinade consists of. So that, let's just dump that in. We will seal it up. Move them around a little bit. That's the fun of these bags. Oh, easy cleanup. And you just can let it, let it sit. How easy was that? So now I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator and it can stay there until we are ready to grab out our pan and sear it and stick it in the oven. All right, I'll meet you back in the kitchen in a while. I pulled out the chicken in my marinated bag. I have that just resting here because we're going to need this. Got the cast iron frying pan going. You take a tablespoon of oil, put that in there. I'm using olive oil, but you can use avocado oil or whatever kind of oil that you prefer using. Get that going. And we're going to do probably two to four minutes aside. We want them night just to, to start nicely browning up and then we will add the marinade the additional marinade on top of that bring that to a nice simmer for maybe five minutes and then our preheated oven of 400 will set that in so we'll keep those guys going all right they're looking good you want to come see them come on over all right Looking good. So I think they are ready to be turned over. Hope I'm not making you seasick here. And we'll do the same thing to that side. Ooh, awesome. All right, come back over this way. You'll be so much happier not being all moved around too bad. So what is served with that, after that, so we'll finish browning them. We'll add our rest of our marinade to our pan. We're gonna bring that to a nice simmer. And then after it cooks in the oven for probably a good 20 minutes, 165 is internal temperature for our chicken thighs. So I'm thinking 20, 25 minutes. But once you pull that out from the oven, then you use fresh cilantro and green onions to garnish. And I'm going to make some jasmine rice. To, so you can put a bed of your rice and your chicken and this. And I think my family will say, great going. I love when you make a nice meal. Which I bet you guys get the same thing. So I'm Dina from Casmer Limited, where we create divinely inspired balms for your body, souls, lips, and nails. And it was so fun today. We had some nice company meetings at Casmer Limited, and we were talking about ideas and thoughts that we're going to bring in for the holidays. Oh, nothing like some healing, healthy, hydrated, beautiful skin to keep you feeling your very, very best during the holidays and forever. You need, you need this stuff. So how exciting is that? All right, I'm checking. Oh yeah, I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna give it one more, I just have to give it one more flip just cause it looks so good. And then I'm pouring on the marinade. So you take your extra bag of marinade and you just put it right on top. Thank goodness for sinks, I love them. And we'll keep that going. We'll let that go for about five minutes. Put that in the oven and we'll prep our greens. All right. I get a little trigger happy. I'm ready to start cutting all my vegetables. I shouldn't say all my vegetables. I'm cutting cilantro and green onions. But I guess for this recipe, it is all my recipe. 
or all my vegetables. Do you want to see what it looks like? Come on over. I'll try to do it as gentle and easy going as I can. Look at that. I think it's going to be fabulous. It smells really, really good. You can so smell the soy sauce, but you can smell the sweetness of the honey and the lime. It's going to be so good. All right. I'm going to prep, get this set, and then we're ready to throw it in the oven. Exciting. You know, when you cut, so question, comment, please let me know. When you cut your veggies, do you cut them at an angle or do you prefer just slices? I think tonight, being that it's kind of reminds me a little, I guess a little um, Caribbean flair, honey, lime, onions, cilantro. I don't know. So I'm doing a little cut. I think it's a little, shh, looks just a little more um, fancy for a school day. Not that anybody in my house right now is in school, but there are people out there that are doing, doing the school thing, which is awesome. All right, I think we're ready to put that in the oven. Let's do it. Okay, preheated 400 degrees. Nice cast iron, don't have to shift this out one bit. Twenty minute timer. Twenty minutes counting down. All right. Okay. We'll meet back here. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, I just pulled it out. It is beautiful. I'm gonna put that over here so you can see it. Look at that. Browned perfectly, smells so good. So I ended up doing brown rice instead of jasmine, just because it was right there in the front and I thought, oh, that'll taste good too. So I'm gonna just keep it like this and everybody can kind of cut the size that they want. I'm not a professional plater, but I've seen it on TV. All right, so that's that. Let me just get this out of the way so you can really, really say, oh, wow. Okay, me personally, I like things a little fiery, so I cut a fresh jalapeno. So on my piece, I'm gonna add that. But then, a little bit of the greens and the onions, Oh, it makes it look so pretty and fresh. And then a little bit of the cilantro. And I'm going to save this for everybody else. They can add their own. And then me, like I said, let me put some jalapenos on mine. All right. So I hope you so enjoyed making our roasted honey. Honey and lime. Roasted honey and lime chicken thighs. I hope you really enjoyed our roasted honey and lime chicken thighs. It smells beautiful. It looks great. I should probably try it, but it's piping hot. Okay, if you insist, I'll do it. I will do it. Okay. I just cut a little corner off here, but I would like it to be with, um, I want it with the onion and the cilantro. All right, bon appetit. Super yummy, super tender. 
I like the onion with it. And the cilantro is just so fresh. I think you're going to have some fan favorites with this recipe. All right. Okay, fan favorite for sure. People are going to like it. They're going to say, why, you are an awesome, awesome cook. And thank you for making this for me. So subscribe and like, and let me know some of your favorite recipes. Oh, I'd love to hear them. So nice hearing good recipes and fun things that people enjoy. And I thank you so much for coming into the kitchen with me and enjoying our chicken tonight. So... Have a great day.